Well, hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, so um, today I want to share my Facebook method for how to grow your uh, Facebook friends list and uh, also to uh, grow your, your fan pages and your groups at a relatively fast pace. And when I'm saying that, you could be growing it at up to uh, 50 people or even 100 person people a day. Um, so there's a way to do that uh, without being pushy, without trying to sell. And uh, you see too many times people are pricing advertisements. They go and join groups, which is part of what you have to do. Uh, you do have to go out there and join groups. And um, you have to go and create your own groups. You have to create your own fan pages so you get people to know about you. But going about it the wrong way, which I'm, which uh, what I mean is if you go out there and you join groups and then you try to um, – place ads or po even polls trying to promote your opportunity, um, more often than not, it's going to work against you because people are going to get tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. And um, eventually they're just going to go right past whatever you post there. Um, and to tell you the truth, when I look at groups, a lot of times I'm not even interested in looking at ads um, or posts that promote opportunities. I'm, I'm more of looking at the lifestyles and things that catch my eye. So there's a way to do this without being pushy, without trying to place ads. And uh, also another thing is um, I used to do this myself as I used to send people <laughs> friends requests and then, uh, or uh, even place Facebook ads and get likes and shares and then try to go to the person and try to share my opportunity through messages. So basically spamming, right? So there's ways to do it without spamming. And if you think about it, Facebook is one, is, if not, the greatest social media uh, platform that's ever been invented. And what is it all about? It's about being social, right? So being social and being friendly, making new friends. So as you can see here, I have uh, somebody replying to one of my posts, actually to one of my messages. Um, and I have this uh, going on. As, as soon as I get it going for the day, um, and if it's uh, either in the afternoon or if I decide to do it in the morning and then, Again, later in the afternoon, it doesn't matter. I have people consistently um, accepting my friend request and also um, going to my fan pages and to my groups. So I'm going to show you some examples here. I actually just went over a thousand friends yesterday, and uh, many is people that I already knew. Others are uh, business associates of mine, and that's one way to grow up here to grow your your fans page and groups and and your friends list. However eventually you're going to get to a point to where uh, you're going to start running out of people that you can keep adding if it's only around your own circle, right? So you got to go outside of your circle. So uh, when I say go outside your circle, you got to see uh, what is it that interests you? Do you have any, any uh, special interest? Like for myself, I was in the military for 20 years in the Navy. I was an aircraft mechanic. Um, I love bowling. I played soccer most of my life. And I also have a great family. Um, I am in my third marriage. Um, so I have, I have my kids, I have my wife. Um, so it, it, and then we spend, like to spend time together, family life, right? So there's many things that I can go out there and be part of in groups. Um, and what, the reason I'm talking about that and, um, is because too many people, when they get into <laughs> trying to build their groups for a uh, – for whatever they want to promote, they tend to go into the same niche uh, or same, um, I guess, market to what they're um, they're trying to promote as well. So eventually, that gets um, uh, pretty much, uh, 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 I guess, flooded, and you get too many people there, and they keep saying the same thing over and over again. Um, so why not go outside of that and, and try to reach people that have the same interests that you have? So that's what you. Uh, that's what I do. I go to uh, find other groups about about bowling, find groups about traveling. Uh, there's tons of groups about traveling. Uh, groups about about sports, soccer, uh, even military groups. They're all out there, right? I find a common interest that I have. Uh, so that's one piece of it. So, but what do you do next? All right. So this is the this is the key. A lot of people don't. Um, realize what has to be done. I think they just have to join the group. Like I said, I don't recommend spamming, posting ads, or uh, even your post on those groups. There's, there's a way to do this. So how do you do it, right? All right, so uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and show you some examples. Um, and like I said, I just went over a thousand people here in the last uh, 24 hours. So I'm going to go here to, I took a snapshot of my uh, desktop screen. And as, if you see here, and you have this little screen right on top of it, but the date is yesterday's date, um, time. Let's see if I can move this here. So it won't let me move it. I'm going to see if I can make it smaller. So here we go. So sorry about the, the puppies. Um, anyways, if you see the time here, it's uh, 7th, uh, July 6th, 2016, it's 738, right? So at 7.38, if you look at my friends list, and let me expand this again. Sorry, I got a couple crazy puppies here. Right, so here we go. So if you look at my friends list here, and that was at 738 on July 6, 2016, I had 993 friends already, right? So if you fast forward, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and go to uh, today at 10. At 10:46, you see that my friends list jumped up to uh, 1,037. Right, so it's a jump of uh, basically almost almost 50 people in just uh, in just about 24 hours, just a little bit over 24 hours. Right, so how do you go ahead and do this? So let me minimize this page. This picture. Right, so we have some friends coming into the house. It's all good. Anyways, um, so now I'm going to go through the process with you. How I go and generate more friends um, on Facebook. So first thing you want to do is, like I said, go and join groups. And once you join groups, um, one of the ways to access it, you can actually start typing the name of the group you're looking for here in the search bar. All right, or you can go through and uh, if you go on your home page here on the left hand side, you can scroll down. And go to your groups. It's getting there. All right, so these are the top ones are going to be the groups that you created. I play some of my favorites. Then you have, let's see. Here we go. Then you have the ones you manage right here. If you see, I have several groups. I have some pending actions in my groups. But I'm not talking about the groups that you created yourself. And there may be some people that I go to your group, and later on you can uh, place different things in your own personal groups. And when I'm saying thing, I'm not saying uh, place ads, advertisement that way. Now, you will get some people once they join your group. If you give them access, they may place some ads there. But personally, try to stay out of that. In my own personal group with my name on it, I don't let anybody else, anyone else place ads, but some of the other groups um, I might uh, allow that. So here's one right here. So, um, so I'm going to go to the group Travel Bloggers Around the World. And you have to join the group first and get accepted by the admin. Let's see if I can close this out here and I'll get back to this person as soon as I'm done with the video. All right, so here I would scroll down and make sure I haven't sent a message to this person yet. And let's take Brian Byer here, for example. So I would go and find the person's name. And yes, I could go through and uh, and uh, try to click or send an ad friend or message here. But what I usually do is I click on their name and open a new tab. And some, some of these right here, because I go through these groups, you may see that I may have sent a friend request. But the percentage of, uh, 
people accepting the friend request, uh, from what I've run into so far, I would say it's about 98% of the people will accept your friend's request if you word the request properly, and that's the key. All right. Um, so you have to know how to place your, your words so people will accept your friend's request and you don't seem too, too spam, you don't seem spammy and basically they have an idea of why you're trying to send them a friend's request. You have to be straightforward with them. Just as if you met somebody um, in real life um, somewhere and you know you want to talk to them, you want to find out about them, you just go and talk to them, right? You don't go and try to find out a roundaway about it. You just go straight to them and you talk to them, or at least to their friends. But, but still, that's eventually you'll get to them. But the best way is to go straight and talk to them. So, anyways, uh, if, and what I'll do is I'll check out the person's profile. I know they're already posting in in a uh, marketing group here or a travelers group. I'm sorry, in the travelers group. Um, so I see a little bit about them, and I see their friends. Something, and I check to see if they have mutual friends. Um, doesn't really matter. No, um, you can still, even though uh, somebody that you have mutual friends with, either they're in the same niche that you're in, or they may even be doing the same thing you are. But it's always good to have somebody that you can collaborate and share ideas with. So it never hurts just to friend somebody else that may be the same, doing the same thing you are, or if they're not even interested in, in what you're doing. So again, so you can share ideas, share. Uh, blog post, content, and so on. So the next thing I would do is uh, go back up here and I would add him as a friend. And once I add him as a friend, then I send him a message. So what do I send him in the message, All right? So I have something that I copy and paste and here I have in my notes. So I'll go and read this. So, uh, and I start with this, it's somewhat of the same wording, but it changes depending on the niche that I'm sending the message to the person, but I just stumbled upon your profile and saw that you were into traveling. I think it's awesome when people have positive purpose in life to help others. I would love to learn more and hope you don't mind. I added you as a friend. Take care. And then um, that's usually what I send out first. And sometimes, um, depending on, on who it is and how I feel, I may send, a, send out the rest of the message. Or I may send part of that message later on after they accept my friend request, right? Um, so after they accept the friend's request, I also send them the message saying, thanks for accepting the friend's request. I hope we can share some valuable tips and information, right? And then I follow through with the, I also started a new travel and blogging group, uh, Digital Nomad, Nomad Shack. I'm trying to get the word out to those who enjoy travel and blogging lifestyle. Feel free to join, and share new posts, and share uh, shares and like. Um, so I may have to change the wording a little bit, but it still works, right? It's, uh, you get the idea, and the people I send it to get the idea as well. And and this is, um, again, for percentage, uh, I would say somewhere about 70% of the people go ahead and, and follow the link that I sent them, and they join the groups. So it's really that simple. You just have to go out and be straightforward. So do I send this to, uh, to, to somebody who's in a marketing niche? No, I'm going to change the words, right? It's going to be a little different. Maybe I'm into marketing and I notice you're doing the same thing. And I have other uh, groups that I share with people, including my own personal group that I will share depending on where it is that I met them and, and what it's regarding that their, uh, their interest, basically. All right, so I want to go ahead and minimize this part right here. So this one here, well, let me go back so I can grab this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. And right in front, I'm going to go and say, hey, Brian. And then the rest of the message. And then I'm going to go ahead and send enter. And then close this out. And then wait for the request, right? So and now I'm going to go back again. Once I'm done with their, their uh, profile, I close it and go back in, this, in the group again, do a search, and look for more people to talk to, right? So how many of these can you do a day? There, there's limits, uh, so I wouldn't push it. Um, I would say if you want, so far the most I've done in one day is uh, is about 30, 30 a day. Um, however, usually I don't do that many, and I try to uh, split it up. I don't do them all at once, and um, after you do too many, then you'll start seeing some messages from Facebook. They want you to 
verified as it using so many so many things on the picture like waterfalls or tigers or whatever it is um, or to start asking you um, if you know the person or if the person knows friends that you know or you know and so on so once you start seeing messages sorry about the puppies again once you start seeing messages from Facebook uh, I would try to cut back and wait a day or so and just start sending out some more friend requests all right so uh, let's see some of the examples here so this other picture I took yesterday, you can see I had a few people accept the friend request. And uh, if you can look at the timeline, uh, the first one here said, said about an hour ago, uh, this person accepted the friend request. 41 minutes ago, they accepted 35 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, seven minutes ago. And you see I, I sent them out intervals, right? And this is something you can do uh, on your spare time. Uh, if you, it depends on how, how much you want to work on, uh, on your opportunity that you're promoting. If you want to do it an hour a day, two hours a day, and so on, and there's other things that you can be working on as well besides um, trying to build your your, your friends list. And there's a reason why you want to do that, right? Because if you're trying to promote something, eventually you want to build a email list, and uh, you want to have people to promote it to. And if you don't have a friends list, um, it's going to be hard to do, right? So you start working with your friends, uh, you promote your opportunity but you do it without being selling as, as, uh, as a salesperson to them so let me minimize that one so as you can see here i do have some some more friend requests that uh, i have one more here and you can see i actually have people sending me friends requests as well and it, it shows here that i have 21 mutual friends so as far as people sending me friend requests um I have people sending that, I say probably about five, five a day, sometimes or more, that we have a similar interest. And the majority I will say yes to, if not 100%. All right. So here, if I go back into messages, you can see here that this reply, basically I've sent some messages to other people, I've had replies to other people. So I'm chatting with them and you can see who's here. They have a little green dot here. So you can also see that I'm here unless you use the method that I created a video on uh, just a couple weeks ago on how you can hide yourself from other people um, on your Facebook timeline so they don't know that you're present. All right. All right. So here you can see I sent back messages to say, hey, Brian, uh, just I'm up on, up on your profile. That's one I just sent, right? And I have this person here actually indicated, you're asking me what I was into, if I was into uh, affiliate marketing. Here, I'm going to bring this one up as an example. It just happened tonight. So I found I found him actually on a uh, affiliate marketing site. However, he's into traveling. So I didn't send him the message for affiliate marketing. I just went through and sent him the one for traveling and blogging. And uh, he came back and he said, thanks for adding me. I said, nice to meet you as well. Thanks for accepting my friend request. I hope you can, uh, we can share valuable uh, tips and information. And if they send me a link, I say, thanks for the, uh, for accepting my friend's request and the link. So I may change that up a little bit depending on who it is and the reply that I get back. But also if they send me back an invitation for something else. All right, so um, he comes back and he says, yep, what do you do? I came back and I said, well, I'm retired Navy and so playing soccer, bowling, spending time with family, also meeting new people and sharing my experience and through blog and social media content. So it's not always the same response for everybody. Um, again, it depends on, on who it is you're talking to. Um, Cause then if it was, if it was the same response, you'd be basically a robot and uh, it would be fun to be on social media, right? Just the same thing as if you were posting spam all the time. So um, he comes back and says, that's awesome. You're doing failure marketing, um, and I came back and I replied to this. This is a tough one uh, you know, for some people to answer, right? So my answer this time was, and again, it's not the same answer every time. I teach others how to promote their opportunity by being social. However, I don't try to promote anything directly unless someone inquires for more information. I'm actually trying to just, just that fact, I'm trying twice, but trying to just uh, promote my new Facebook group for travelers and bloggers. Here's the link if you want to join. Just started a new travel and blog group. Here's the link. And there you go. So repeat it a little bit uh, on the wordings. And it's probably because I already had this pre-typed and posted and I had uh, reworded it a little bit as well. 
And then uh, he said, sure, I'll support you. So it's really that simple, right? You're straightforward with people. And um, I say 99% of the time, they're going to accept your friend's request and they're going to go ahead and join your group. And if they decide that they're not interested in what you're, what you're doing um, or what you're, you're offering, then they're going to pull out of the group. But uh, those, then what's the key? How do you get them to see what you're promoting, right? So um, there's certain ways to do that within your groups, within your fan page, and your personal page. Uh, there's certain things that you should be posting, right? You shouldn't be posting the same thing on all the pages. Um, so there's certain ways to do that, and I'll be showing you how to do that on some of the other videos. Right, so here you can see um, this is my notifications, and it shows some of the people that, that the groups that I have joined, some people that I have as friends. But you can see here the the, the last person I, I chatted with and I asked to uh, to be a friend uh, friend with. He just sent me a, a request to join the group Digital Nomad Shack. And if I look at the group here, it is a closed group, and I recommend if you create a group. That you also set it to close, and there's certain reasons for that, um, for for what you, you you have. But there's also a certain reason for trying to get people to to join the group as well. If you close it, uh, it, seems, it attempts to attract more people to join. Uh, so here we go. It tells me a little bit about the person here, and you can see he's actually from Singapore. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do approve. And then I go back and take a look at the group as well on there. And on this one here, this is a group I just started last week. Um, and you can see I already have over 42 members. So it's been a little bit less than a week. I would say about five days ago. And it was just uh, the 4th of July holiday weekend. So I didn't even uh, work on my laptop over the, over the whole weekend. So I started late last week. Didn't do anything with it for, for a couple of days. Came back on uh, Tuesday and started promoting the, uh, the group again. But here, as you can see, I, I post different things about, about uh, traveling and blogging. Uh, so I put a couple of posts myself just to get the group going. And you can see I have a post here. And somebody responded to the post with their own post. And this person here actually um, really interesting because um, he said he would promote my, this blog to uh, other people in India. So that's really powerful. When you start getting people that are interested in what you're doing, you start sharing, um, then you can really make this go viral. All right, so here I have somebody else. He posted uh, information about his blog. Has another person here. And interesting here, so she's talking about her travel and her blogging. And the challenges she's going through and sharing that with people. And as you see, people uh, do it a little bit differently here. She went ahead and tagged me as well. And going back up here, it's the same thing here. So this person here, um, not only did he reply to my post, but he also tagged the original uh, post uh, poster of, uh, of, the, of the post that I got it from as well. That just gives you a bigger, bigger reach on uh, Facebook. And then here, this person, he's promoting travel in the Philippines. And here's another one here, another travel. So I'm using the original post that I started with, and this is from one of my blogs. This is actually, I go back here. This is actually the first blog that I have started. Um, I posted some information here, and it just turned out to be about tra about traveling. So it, it turned out pretty good. I was able to put it inside this this blog here or this uh, Facebook group. And here I shared a video from my Fourth of July weekend when I went up to the mountains of North Carolina, and uh, it's a video that was created by Magisto, which is a cool uh, phone app. And I found out that you can use it for social media, but you gotta be careful on YouTube if you're if you're uh, monetizing a YouTube video. So, great program. All right, so that's uh, my uh, quick uh, Facebook. Uh, how do you grow your friends and your groups and, and your fan fan pages? So I, I didn't touch 
um, based on fan pages too much, but it's the same concept, right? You drive people to uh, basically go and uh, find people and specialty groups that you have interest in it. You uh, friend them, you send them a message, uh, become social with them, right? You, you ask them for a friend's request and then you uh, let them know that you have something available as far as groups, but nowhere within the, within that process did I say, hey, um, I have a, something I want you to look at as far as a business opportunity or anything. So where does that come into play, right? So that part there I will be showing you on a different video as well. So thanks for joining me. And if you found this, uh, uh, this video uh, provided some value and uh, was able to help you out on going out there and, and making new friends and growing your, uh, your list as well, um, so make sure you get back to me and leave a comment down below if you're on my YouTube channel, if you're on my uh, Facebook page as well or my group, uh, be sure to leave a comment down in, uh, at the bottom of this video. And uh, if you're on my blog, same thing, you can leave a comment, be sure to share it out with other people on social media. All right, thanks for joining me um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.